Hey guys, it's Andre. Uh, Y'all haven't met me yet, but I'm uh, one of the guys helping Trevor and Justin and Julian out with the uh, Apollo automation sensors. Um, kind of doing a little video tour of the workshop today. Uh, sorry about the leaf blower out there. Uh, but we're going to go see what the guys have been up to. Uh, so let's, uh, let's get to it. Alright guys, so uh, we're going to head downstairs here into the Apollo Automation Workshop, get ourselves a little tour, see what's been happening behind the scenes and what the guys have been working on, okay? We got Justin here. Hey guys, Justin from the Apollo Automation team in our recently renovated workshop. Just doing some quality control checks on the MSR1 casings. Just recently got a Bamboo P1S and it has the textured PETG plate so we've been testing it versus the smooth engineering plate that we have on the P1P. So we'll have some high res images and you guys can let us know what you think. You know, the textured versus the smooth. And we do have a quick little look at some Air One beta test PCBs. These have been hand populated. We should be getting these out within the next few days. Okay, so moving on from this, can you tell me a little bit about what's going on over here? Yeah, so we were just talking about the Air 1s, you know, being populated by hand. We now have a pick-and-place machine, which will do the populating for us. It's a desktop SMT Pro. We just got it a couple days ago. We have it running OpenPMP, which is an open source software. You know we love open source. We're open source. Love Home Assistant, ESP Home. That's why we're here. We have some electronic mag feeders here. We have all the components. We have everything ready to go. We're just waiting, you know, to get the software set up correctly. It's been pretty intuitive and there's a lot of tutorials online. So, you know, very easy top-down camera, bottom-up facing camera, moving it around, still playing with it, but eventually this will help with our failure rate of hand populating the PCBs, as you guys know. <laughs> So, Justin, tell me a little bit more about what I'm seeing over yeah, here. Yeah, so these are the OG, the original uh, MSR1s that we started with. You can see here, this one has the large PIR. We actually had the Apollo branding on the front. Decided against the large PIR and the branding on the front. Went with the small PIR, and then eventually we went to no PIR, just the LD2410B. You can see a little size comparison there. Let me get that out of the way. Yeah. And then you can see the thickness as well. Significantly smaller. Also had a few different mounting options on the back. We had this mounting option where it would actually clip onto a plate and hold it in place. Ended up going with a option where it just slides on the back very nicely. And it allowed us to make mounts using the same back plate. So this is just our articulating stand. Um, not necessary, you know, the, the center will work on its own, um, but it is a nice addition if you are going to be mounting it. And uh, those are all 3D printable at home yeah, if you've got so, a 3D yeah, printer, these right? are all open source on our GitHub. You can 3D print, you know, any of these, uh, make uh, remixes. Yeah, that's what we were hoping for. The community would maybe, you know, take our case and say, hey, you know, temperatures uh, are better, more stable. If I add a hole here, you know, or, you know, if we have different mounting options, you know, we are always, you know, hoping, you know, uh, to get some feedback from the, the community and, you know, make improvements. So I can see we've got some new hardware over here in this corner of the shop. Tell me a little bit about that. Yes, very excited about our new Bamboo Labs P1S, and this is just our original Bamboo Labs P1P. Okay, and then I see there's some more housing on the P1S. Uh, tell me a little bit about that and what the benefits of that are. Yes, the Bamboo Labs P1S, we just got it on the Black Friday sales, around $100 off. The full enclosure keeps the temperature more stable inside while you're printing, so there's no variation in the filament or you know, the print at all. Uh, we do plan on taking the filament from these rollers here making a box up above here that is going to be temperature humidity controlled we'll have uh, you know a heater in there making sure that 
the filament does not absorb moisture. All right, sounds good. So all of that you think will help improve kind of consistency of the prints and the casing? I exactly. Like I touched on earlier, you know, we had the new PETG uh, plate, uh, textured plate. So we're, we're going back and forth between texture and smooth. And, you know, the P1S with the enclosure should help with that, give us more consistent results versus the P1, P1P being open, a breeze comes by or the air comes on, it can change the temperature around the bed. So hopefully with a little bit more consistency here, but you know, we'll, we'll see. Okay. All right, so I'm seeing a new piece of hardware over there on the workbench. Justin, you wanna tell me about that? Yes, very excited about the Air One. We announced it around a week ago. You can see it here. All right. We had around 400 beta test survey responses. We've gotten about three fully populated Air Ones out to the community already. We do have the other beta test PCBs that we're still working on. It should be coming out soon. We have it next to just a bare Air One case without the mesh. You know, it being an air quality sensor, we wanted to make sure it had nice airflow, which is important. Um, you know, again, if you have any remixes or any suggestions to the case, we're always open. We do have a bare MSR1 here. So if you haven't opened yours up, this is what's inside of it. Got the GPIO in the back, everything there. We do have our mount, which we wanted. We didn't want cables, you know, to be seen. Uh, it seems like the community, it's, it's also something that uh, you guys are wanting. It's, again, you know, just a PCB we designed, can go into any USB-C up firing wall wart. Um, you know, we have these available if you don't want to have to worry about buying your own. The batch orders for the MSR1 and today, November 24th, we're hoping to get the orders out uh, probably the first week of December. The Air 1, if beta testing goes well, we should have those out probably closer to the end of December, around Christmas time. We appreciate your support. We'll see you guys soon. All right. Thanks, Justin. Hey guys, it's Andre again. Um, just wanted to thank you guys for watching. This is kind of a new thing for us here at Apollo Automation, doing these videos. Um, if you guys like it, please let us know. If you have suggestions, more than happy to hear them. Um, some of the things we've talked about doing videos on are, you know, for instance, video tutorials of how to set things up, troubleshooting, because not everybody really wants to read a whole wall of text. I know I don't. Um, we could do hyperlapse videos of things here at the workshop. We could do live streams. Uh, I'd love to do some, you know, product showcases of things that we've got and things that are coming up, uh, just for people who may not be super familiar with the sensors. Um, and, uh, you know, thank you again so much for all your support, and uh, we'll see you in the next one.